When I came across NLP, I was actually quite angry at first, and you might think that's a bit of a strange thing, but I was annoyed when I found out there's a lot faster ways to do this than psychotherapy and gestalt therapy and reflective counselling and all these other things, you know. I mean, they're all good. They have their place, they have their moments, and there's great things that's, uh, that, that's enabled to happen with people. But NLP is a lot faster, and it lasts, and it works, and you can create a shift in a short space of time. One of the older and more substantiated uh, forms of therapy is called neuro-linguistic programming. This has been demonstrated over the years to have a very profound effect on bringing people's uh, consciousness to the current moment, allowing them to be mindful, allowing them to operate from the power of the moment to make decisions rather than deferring to the habit programs that were programmed into our lives in the first six years of our existence. Whilst you can't change what's happened in the past, you can change how you choose to respond to that in life now, in this moment. And NLP has a number of processes that allow you at both a neurological and a physiological level to prune away those old habitual patterns and create new, inspiring, empowering patterns that can support you as you move forward in life. I often describe NLP as the study of excellence. After all, it's come from looking at how people get really amazing results when they're doing what they're doing. It explains what works. While a number of counselling and therapeutic areas often ask why, in NLP we're asking how. How do we do what we do? Moshe Feldenkrais said, when you know how you do what you do, you can do what you want. And I think NLP's greatest gift is enabling people to be more in charge of themselves by understanding how they work inside. For example, I had a lady who was working with me who had bowel cancer and um, we did some work with NLP and whether or not it was just the NLP or not, she actually went into remission. She managed to, managed to get the cancer out of her body. It was just profound. I've had a client ask me one day how I could possibly have helped her change anxiety she'd had for nearly 20 years. And when I explained to her that she was making those changes and the NLP techniques I was taking her through was simply facilitating that change. She realised then that the magic wasn't NLP, the magic is inside her. And it wasn't that I had a wand in my back pocket, but to use her words, she was the wand. And when she realised that, she realised she could change even more than just her anxiety, that she could actually change anything that wasn't helping her in a positive, resourceful way in her thinking, her emotions and her behaviours. My background is I'm actually a dietitian, so I've worked very holistically um, in, in the past, but um, trained as an orthodox practitioner. And I found, um, particularly with my weight management, I wasn't getting the sort of results I really wanted to get. Because although people really believed and knew what they wanted to do, they weren't actually long term managing to lose weight. Well when I started training and using NLP I just got such different results. And um, the sort of things that were happening was were people had sort of beliefs around whether they could actually lose weight. They had issues around relationships, all those sort of things were, which were having them holding on to their weight. And once we got to the bottom of those sort of beliefs and things, what we actually found was that they were, were able to be healthy and be the weight that they were supposed to be. I love how NLP can be mapped over into so many different areas. So like for example, I use it in the corporate world, so in business communication and leadership training, um, and looking at bigger picture thinking. So like in NLP we call that going meta in corporate and personal coaching to the other extreme where I also use it with individuals that may have been diagnosed with the likes of anxiety or depression or bipolar or perhaps have a physical disease that is showing up within their body that they'd like to be able to release. I use NLP principles in every area of my life and one of the key areas is in the social services that we've been working in for 10 years. Working with young people, NLP has a fantastic way of connecting in to the depth of what it is that they need and so that they can explore their potential. One of the wonderful stories I have around this, and I have a great memory around it, is a young man who has actually been very healthy and he was a swimmer, a very um, fantastic swimmer, but something happened in his life that just shut him up and shut him down and he didn't talk for four years, he locked himself in his room. Eventually after seeing psychologists and psychiatrists and never being able to get anything from this young man, I got to sit down with him. 
and I use the principles of NLP and um, strategy, strategy elicitation, understanding the depth of what was going on. And this man now, he is a man now, actually does speak. It only took a couple of meetings to open up and explore within him what he needed to let go of. Simple, easy, no need for the story. I, didn't, I still don't know to this day what it was. And that's the fantastic thing about NLP. You can get to the very depth, to the very core of what's happening without having to know exactly what it is. If you think about it, we have this amazing body, you know, and scientists are still finding out new things about this human body every day. To think that just a thought sparks life into the brain and creates a chemical that allows us to feel what it is that we're thinking. And we have cells that are degenerating and regenerating all the time. Our intestinal tract, for example, the cells within there are renewing themselves every two to three days. We are breathing mostly, hopefully, actually. Um, oxygen has been circulated through our cells. Blood is circulating. All of these things happen beautifully and automatically and meanwhile we're thinking, we're signing our name, we're doing all of these things very easily and automatically. The question is, in amongst all of this, are we getting the results we want? And NLP helps us refine and be even more in charge of what we're doing with this amazing system we live in when it's not quite how we'd like it to be. So it helps us get the results we really want. In the medical model, uh, people are dysfunctional in some way or ill in some way and the medical model, allopathic medicine, uh, seeks to bring them back to what they call normal, a middle ground called normal, whatever normal is. NLP comes from an entirely different place. It's coming from a place of uh, how do the people who are the best in their field do what they do? And can we learn how they do this being the best, being the best in business or the best in relationship or the best educators? And if you bring that model of being the best from some field back into uh, how we learn, then the fact is, yes, you can take on those patterns. Yes, you can shift how you are being and become a person who is focused on where you can go rather than the limitations of where you've been in the past. And when I think back, when I was a teenager, I used to think that whatever particular emotion I might be feeling at that moment, I just had to live with it. It might have been feeling melancholy about a boy or sad that my friends couldn't hang out with me that day. And if I got stuck in that, I really felt like I just had to bear it. And I didn't know that I could be more in charge of how I was thinking and feeling and change it easily. And as I went into my 20s, I lived in Europe, I had an amazing job, I was visiting a different city every month. And yet there were many times when I really wasn't as happy as I wanted to be. And I still, I'd, I'd realised by that point that I should be able to be more in charge, that I should be able to feel better, and I wanted to, but I still didn't have the how. And when I came across NLP and started training, I realised then, ah, this is the how for me. This is about mastering your life. It's about conquering your dragons in your personal life and your business life. It's shifting some things about how you do relating with people and enabling you to become the real you who's the best that you can be. NLP is a process. It isn't a modality that gets you stuck in story or content or detail from the past. It allows people to naturally unfold to the magnificence of who they already are. So NLP gave me the how. It helped me understand how I could change those patterns, how they could stay changed, and that I could then help other people get the same kind of results. And it was a, an amazing light bulb moment to realise I could help people in a way that meant I wasn't fixing them. I was simply helping them heal themselves. The ultimate necessity in our world is to correct the limiting, self-sabotaging and disempowering programs that almost every one of us acquired before the age of six. For until we do that, we are a victim of the program and not masters of our lives. And NLP, as well as the other energy psychology modalities, are all effective means of changing those limiting programs. NLP is no longer really something that I do, but rather just a way of being. It's become this wonderful foundation that I can continue to grow from and continue to live an inspired life.